That's good to be here. I am not ashamed to tell somebody about a man named Jesus. We need to wake up, church. And don't be ashamed to tell somebody about a man named Jesus. It's truly an honor to be here for this grand occasion, the church anniversary. But God have a word today, and I pray that it be a blessing unto you. If you be so kind, will you turn with me to Matthew, the gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 16. The gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 16. And I'll be reading from the King James translation. If you can stand, please stand to reverence the word of God. The gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 16, starting at the 13th verse, King James reads his prayer. <laughs> when Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, mm -hmm. he asked his disciples, saying, mm -hmm. Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? Mm -hmm. And they said, some say thou art John the Baptist, right. some Elijah, well, uh, and other Jeremiah, mm -hmm. or one of the prophets. Yeah. He said unto them, mm -hmm. but whom say ye that I am? Well, and Simon that. Peter answered and said, thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, Thou art Peter, mm -hmm. and upon this rock, I will build my church, yeah. and the gates of hell shall not prevail against yes. it. Yeah. You may be seated. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Right. We have a thought. We got a thought for this wonderful occasion. Right. <coughs> Entitled God's Church. God's church. That is the subject for today. God's church. And let's use for a thought. I will build my church. I will build my church. We see. So what? the church is going to be built on. That's a very uh, intriguing question. Uh, many theologians, many philosophers has got in heated debates over this particular scripture. To doubt or Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Uh, you have people in the biblical realm yeah. and Christendom yeah. has argued over and over about what Jesus is going to build his church on. Yeah. Uh, I can stop by today and tell somebody it sure was not Peter. Uh, God will never put the foundation of his church in man's hand. Oh, man, man fell for God's grace a long time ago. Uh, all the animal sacrifices in the Old Testament uh, was not pure enough for the redemptive salvation 
salvation of man. Uh, the only thing man can do is lift Jesus up. Uh, he said, if I be lifted up, I'm going to draw all men unto me. Uh, we see. Uh, man does not do the drawing. Peter is not qualified to be the sacrifice for all mankind. Uh, so, 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 what the church is going to be built on, preacher? Uh, it's going to be built on the word of God. Uh, that solid rock. Uh, that word of God is Jesus the Christ. Oh, we see. The Bible, John 1 and 14, it says, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as one of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Oh, it's going to be built on of the word of God. And what is the word of God? Jesus the Christ. Uh, the everlasting to everlasting. Oh, the reason uh, God is building his church because it belongs to him. Uh, and no one can say in the end what they have done or what they have did. Uh, it's truly a blessing to be here for the celebration today. Uh, the temporal church anniversary. Uh, it was so refreshing to see uh, how the, the, the pastor was being led by the Spirit of God to put organized and established on the bulletin. Uh, so when you see that today, you will notice the word being organized and established. Uh, it's the reason behind those words. Uh, we see that uh, that we thank God for bringing this assembly of baptized believers in Christ together. Uh, thanking Him for some old blessings. Oh, we see. Uh, preacher, uh, uh, why do you say God's church? Uh, because many today are building their own man-made church. Uh, they building their own empire. Uh, taking advantage of what belongs to God. Uh, telling folks to buy a holy rag. church folks caught up in something called a holy rag. Oh, don't you see? Tell that church folks to buy some holy water. Oh, pimping and hustling God's word for a dollar. Oh, God said, I'm going to build my church. My church. Not your church. Oh, instead of building and edifying God's church. They build in their own church and edifying themselves. Don't we see? Uh, we hear so many say that they are a founder of a church. Uh, I done heard it so many times. <laughs> I done heard that many times. Yeah. Deacon Larry, I done heard it. Oh, yeah. oh, so many times. Yeah. Uh, how folks say that they are the founder yeah. of a church. Yeah. Oh, but I stopped by. Uh, one should be mindful to understand. Uh, if you understand the person who founded something, you must be the original creator. Uh, you must be the original creator. Uh, Jesus the Christ 
the original creator yeah. of the church. Yeah. Well, men say he is the founder of the church. Well, uh -huh. no, it's not God's church. Oh, uh -huh. uh, let me say that again. Yeah. It's not God's church. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, when men say he is the founder of a church. He is dealing with a building. He is dealing with wood. He is dealing with marble. And he is dealing with bricks. Oh, uh, you see. The body of Christ. God, God deal with the baptized believer. The indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Not bricks. Not of the church. Oh, we can see the church is used in three different ways. Uh, first, as the body of Christ. The church is often defined as a local assembly or group. Baptized believers in Jesus the Christ. Now you can find that in 1 Corinthians. 1 and 2. 2 uh -huh. Corinthians 1 and 1. Yeah. Revelation 1 verses 1 through 2. 2 uh -huh. about the church. Uh -huh. uh, the different ways to identify a church. Uh -huh. uh, it could be uh, defined as a body of individual believers. 1 uh -huh. uh, Corinthians yeah. 15 and 9. Yeah. Revelation one and thirteen. Yeah. Finally, my brothers and sisters, it is defined as a universal group. Yeah. All people have trusted in Christ through the ages. Yeah. Uh, you can find it in Matthew chapter sixteen and eighteen, Ephesians five, starting at verse twenty-three. Yeah. Oh, my brothers and sisters, we we need. To have a clear understanding oh, yeah. that man cannot be the founder of nothing that God has created. A oh, man can't even save himself. Oh, the Bible says Jesus the Christ is the chief cornerstone. The Bible tells me in Ephesians 19, it says, Now, therefore, ye no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and the household of God, and, and are built upon the foundation of the apostle and prophet. Now we notice that a uh, 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 foundation. <laughs> Who's gonna lay that foundation? Uh, so many folks, uh, they say they get in a get in a biblical argument about the foundation. God laid the foundation. Before, before you lay any foundation, you're gonna need a cornerstone. The Bible tells me, and he are built. Upon the foundation of the apostles, yeah. the prophet Jesus the Christ himself, the chief cornerstone. Yeah. Oh, we, 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 we just need to keep building on the wall. Our uh -huh. uh, plumb line with the word of God. Yeah. Now the best thing one can say if they are going to say anything at all. Uh, is that God used me to organize this building for him. Yeah. Yeah. For his purpose. Yeah. Not my purpose. Yeah. For his glory. Yeah. Not my glory. Yeah. Uh, if I be lifted 
lifted up Jesus said to all men unto me oh Jesus said the boldest rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it oh Jesus oh he did not say he is going to build his church upon the Baptist denomination. <laughs> no, no, no. He didn't say he's going to build upon the Methodist denomination. Oh, my brothers and sisters, he did not say he's going to build upon the Church of God denomination. Uh, the Lutheran, the, 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 the Pentecostal, or uh, uh, whatever folk claim today. Jesus said, Oh, guess what? I'll build my, my church. He said nothing about no denomination. Oh, God's church. This church has nothing to do with denomination. Uh, all the man made denominations. And all these man-made religion, uh, it, it, it devices, saying you to keep people blinded, separated, and confused. Oh, the church. So many folk get caught up in the denomination. Uh, they get caught in the denomination more than they need to get caught up in a man named Jesus. Uh, denomination can't save you. Yes, Nothing but the blood of yes, Jesus. Yes, uh, we see. Uh -huh. uh, it is a man. Yes. Saying you to keep folk divided, yes. confused, yes. going throat to throat, yes. and on a highway to hell. Yes, uh, <laughs> there are a lot of churches in this world. Yes. But God's church, Christ's church, yeah. uh, the one he's building, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Bible tells me, mm -hmm. Ephesians 4 and 4, he said, that is what one body, mm -hmm. one spirit, yeah. and as you are calling, one hope yeah. of your calling. Yeah. Oh, I love this part. Yeah. One Lord, one, Lord. one faith, yeah. uh, one baptism. Yeah.
is having a dialogue with his disciples by asking them a question. It's good to ask the question sometimes. Jesus is headed to the coast and he wanted to reassure them everything will be all right. So he asked, whom do men say the Son of Man am? Yeah. Uh, the reason, my brothers and sisters, he is asking this question is to bring a foresight, a clear and better understanding of who he truly is. Uh, Jesus knew that they were going to, Jesus knew what they were going to say because he is God. Oh, isn't that so ironic? How God wants us to ask, answer, ask a question so we can expose ourselves, so we can expose our mentality. He already knows. Oh, before, we, before we even think about the answer, God knows the answer. Oh, we see. Because some have been traveling with Jesus yeah. and still did not truly know him. Yeah. Oh, who he was. Yeah. Oh, my brothers and sisters, how many of us today yeah. uh, say that we know Jesus and we've been traveling with Jesus a long time yeah. and we still don't know who he is? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Folks been traveling, they say they've been traveling with Jesus. Yeah. A mighty long time. Yeah, uh, even the old songs, I've been running for Jesus for a long time. Yeah, I ain't that tired yet. Yeah. You've been running and don't even know, some folks don't even know who they're running for. Yeah. They just out there just running. Yeah. Why are you running? Somebody else took on running. Yeah. I'm gonna run with you. Yeah. Oh, so he said, He said, I will build my church. Yeah. Now, this is the heart of the passage. You have to understand this before you can understand the things around it. So we want to look at it very closely and identify what Jesus is talking about. About I will build my church. First of all, Jesus speaks of certainty of it. The church that Christ builds is a certain church. Assured, secured, because in verse 18 it said, I will build. Now what makes it so certain is the word I. I. Who is the one who said I? Christ said I. He is God. And he cannot lie. And God is faithful. God is, who will always keep his word. Who will never, his word will never return void. But always accomplishes that to which it is sent forth. Oh, said Isaiah. And when Jesus said, I will build my church. That means the church is certain to be built. Yeah. It is a built on the promises of the divine Savior. Yeah. We should be mindful. God had a plan for the church before creation. God, yeah. uh, it is a futuristic verb because Jesus is heading to the cross. Yeah. He is speaking in a futuristic yeah point of view when he is having this dialogue, this discussion with his disciples. Yeah. Oh, we see. So the Lord builds church. That is a blessing to know who the building belongs to. Yeah. Oh, my brothers and sisters, then it says, the gates of hell shall not prevail. Oh, he is sharing uh, that the futuristic of the crucifixion. And when we look at the gates of hell, in this particular context, he is talking about Shoal. Shoal. 
That is the grave. Yes. That is the, and he also, Hades is characterized as hell. Gehenna, uh, uh, that is a place of fire. Yeah. That is the futuristic of fire and brimstone. All, right. yeah. All these things are characterized as hell. Yeah. So Jesus is telling his disciples that the gates of hell shall not prevail. Yeah. Oh, Jesus is telling his disciples that death the door. Yeah. The gates of hell cannot have him bound. Yeah. Uh, I will build my church. Yeah. Uh, separating the godly from the ungodly. Yeah. Uh, building his church on what? Holiness. Yeah. Uh, building his church on without spot or wrinkle. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Didn't forget about the one who died in faith yeah. in the Old Testament. Yeah. Oh, my Bible tells me Matthew 27, 52 says, mm -hmm. and the graves yeah. were open. Yes, sir. And many bodies of the saint which slept mm -hmm. arose yeah. and came out the grave yeah. uh, after the resurrection yeah. Yeah. and went into the city yeah. appearing to many. Yeah. Oh, God got a plan. For his church. Oh, he coming back for the church. Oh, what God builds, he coming back for. Oh, the Lord is coming back for his church. The Bible tells me in 1 Corinthians 15, 53, it says, for this corruptible must put on what? Incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on put, uh, put on uh, immorality, yeah. in, immortality, then shall be brought to pass the sin that was written. Death is swallowed up in victory. Yeah. Oh death, yeah. oh death, yeah. where is thy sin? Yeah. Oh grave, yeah. where is thy victory? Yeah. On the sting of death is sin. Yeah. And the strength of sin is the law. Yeah. But thank be God, yeah. which is us, give a victory through Christ Jesus. Yeah. Oh, my brothers and sisters, yeah. God is giving us the time right now right. to get the spots yeah. and the wrinkles yeah. out of our garments. Yeah. Oh, what can wash away those spots and the wrinkles? Right. Nothing but the blood. Yeah. Of Jesus. Oh, the Holy Spirit asking the question today. Will you be ready? Oh, don't be trying to get ready. You got to be ready. Oh, the Bible, don't let God catch you with your work undone. Oh, the Bible tells me on uh, Revelation 3 and 3. It says, Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard. And hold fast, yeah. repent, yeah. if therefore thou shalt not watch. Yeah. There's a whole lot of folk not watch today. Yeah. A whole lot of folk gonna get caught slipping yeah. when God come back, yeah. when Jesus come back. Yeah. He come back for the church. Yeah. Uh, he said, I will come as a thief. And on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Oh, my brother and sister, it'll be too late to get things right. God is giving us a chance right now to get it right. Oh, many are slipping and tipping on God. Oh, they think they have a lot of time. But time is not on your side. Yeah. Oh, the time is now to serve the Lord. Yeah. Get in a hurry yeah. and do it now. Yeah. Oh, we must realize. Oh, pay attention to this. Yeah. We must truly realize yeah. we cannot have a full relationship with God yeah. if you are still hugging the devil. Yeah. Let me say that again. Uh, you can't have a fruitful relationship with God if you are still 
hurting the devil. Yeah. Oh, many church folks. Yeah. They get the groove on on the dance floor. Yeah. Oh, Pastor, I believe some of you doing the electric slide. Oh, I believe some of you doing the bus stop. Oh, I believe some of you doing the hospital. I think some church folks be out there break dancing. Oh, you can't have a relationship with God if you still hugging the devil. Oh, we got some of those church folks. Just be lying and backbiting one another. Or do we know any? But they say they're going to help. God come back for the church. Uh, he ain't coming back for the for no lying, backbiting folks. Uh, no stiff neck folks. God coming back for the church. Oh my God coming back for the church. The true believer in Christ Jesus. Will you be ready? Oh God, church. I will build my church. Oh, yeah. He ain't gonna build on a hell raiser. Yeah. Uh, the pastor, do you have any hell raisers uh, up in Prairie Hill? I just asked the question. Uh, do you have any hell raisers going on in Prairie Hill? God is coming back for the church. God, church got order. God put the pastor in the head of the church. He said, God, yeah, he's an old man, the one that rule over you. Because he watch over your soul. Oh, the pastor got a hard job. Now praying for the hell raiser. The pastor got a hard job. Praying for the stiff necks. The pastor got a hard job. Praying for the backstab. When they talk about you like a dog, pastor, hold your hope. When they lie on your pastor, hold your hope. God coming back for the church, but he coming back for the hell raiser. Oh, we gonna move on. God is coming back for the church. If you don't have a forgiving heart, uh, you can't forgive your brothers and sisters. You're going to be left out. Because how even in the Lord's prayer, forgive those and I forgive those who trespass against me. Oh, we got some so-called church folks uh, take hate to the grave. We got some so-called church folks uh, just uh, walk in fussing and go out cussing. So the lady walk in fussing and they walk out cussing. <laughs> Do you know it? I, I, I don't know, Pastor. God is coming back for the church. He coming back for the war who are right. He's gonna charge those in the leadership position. He's gonna hold you accountable for your action. God don't want no pastor or a deacon on a Sunday and a sugar dad on a Monday. God is coming back. Come to church. There were no sugar daddies in the pool pit. Pool pit ain't got no pay for no sugar daddy. The deacon boy ain't got time for no sugar daddy. Do we know any sugar daddy? <laughs> Oh, husband and wife going throat to throat. Uh, parents, dog, and children. Uh, that ain't the church. Uh, the man's going to be the head of the household. And God, the head of the church. Uh, children, dog, and the parents. And they say they're going to heaven. God, he's going to be on my church. That's the wrong kind of church that you're dealing with. Uh, we see. Man, don't have a forgiving heart. But they say they're going to heaven. You got to have a forgiving heart to be in God's church. You got to have a forgiving heart to make it to heaven. Oh, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Because all these things going on, you are jeopardizing your soul. You are jeopardizing your salvation. Oh, we see. We see people having sex outside of wedlock. Oh, do we know anybody? They're having sex outside of wedlock. Uh, committing adulterous acts. Uh, God is coming back for the church. You must ask for forgiveness. Uh, are you a peacemaker? Are you a hell raiser? Uh, we, got, we got some women stealing husbands. 
when they say they're going to heaven. Ah, oh, we got so many silly wives when they say they're in the church house. Ah, oh, many are living in sin, having filth. And God is going, and you think God is going to accept your filthness without repentance? Oh, the world is cool up. Uh, that homosexuality. Yeah. They want to force themselves on folks. Ah, uh, yeah. uh, men want to be women. Yeah. Women want to be men. I yeah. uh, they don't want nobody to say nothing about it. Yeah. You got transgenders yeah. dressing up like women. You got women dressing up like men. Yeah. Going into one another bathroom. Yeah. Don't want nobody to say nothing to them. God had turned them over to a rocky back mind. But there's still a chance. You got to repent. Oh, God came for the sinner man. He came for the transgender. He came for the lesbian. He came for the homosexual. Oh, the Bible says. Ephesians 5 and 26. It teaches us that, that he might uh, sanctify and cleanse with the washing of the water right. by the word uh, that might be presented to himself what a glorious church yeah. not have a spot or a ring or any such thing that is that it should be holy and without blemish. Right. oh my brothers and sisters it's time it's time to get it right it's time to get the spots and wrinkles out of your heart. Yeah. It's time to watch off the old and put on the new. Yeah. Oh, my brothers and sisters, it's time to wind it down. Oh, God, he so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that who so ever believing in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God sent not his son yes. into this world yes. to condemn this world yes. but to help yes. might be saved yes. talking about Jesus yes. why Jesus Christ yes. tell me what he did yes. they whipped my Lord yes. and they beat my Lord yes. oh march him up to judge my heart and judge my heart he didn't do he didn't do no wrong yes. tell me what he did they whipped him put that cross on his back yes. Put in the load of the sentient world, found the whole world on his shoulder. Took him up to go God for here, laid him down, put him on that tree. They bailed his head, bailed his feet, propped him up on that tree, spit him right in his side. Why did blood can't stream me down? Tell you what he did. Jesus went down to the gates of hell, yeah. to the belly of hell, yeah. to the pits of hell, yeah. grabbed the saints, yeah. brought them up, yeah. shot in the street, yeah. free at lane, yeah. all free at lane, yeah. thank Lord Almighty, I'm free at lane, yeah. tell you what he did, yeah. he wouldn't done that, got up, yeah. all power, all power.
songwriters to get right with God. Mm -hmm. And do it. Yeah. Right now. Well. Turn out our heart burn. Yeah. As a man of God. Spoke along the way. Well, as a musician, give us some real soft music. There may be one today that I've heard such a profound and prophetic message. Uh -huh. You might want to come and rededicate yes, sir. your life to Christ. Don't worry about what no one is saying about you because they don't have a heaven or a hell to put you in. He said, the day that you hear my voice, harden not your heart. And if he's speaking to you right now, you can come down those aisles right now. The doors of the church is open. For letter by letter, you can come by letter, by Christian experience, or candidate for baptism. Well, you might say, well, I don't want to be a member of Prairie Hill. That's fine. But whatever church, whatever choice, church choice of yours, yes, I will let you let me know and I will let your pastor know that you still come. You can still come today. Yes, and we will send you on to the church of your choice. Yes, because he just like what he just been saying. It's not only one church. Yes, and that's God church. Amen. He already have explained all that to us. Amen. So today is a good day. Yes. Don't let this day pass you by.